What's going on? Nothing much. How's it going, man? Great, you? Yeah, it's it's disgusting out, but it is what it yeah, is. Yeah, terrible. I didn't know it was going to be like this. I walked out and I was like, fuck, it's downpouring. <laughs> Everything's going to get like, soaked and destroyed, but that's all right. Yeah. So, I got, um, these are all the DS games. Here, I didn't have totally identification for the DS yeah, games. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. I got, um, obviously you probably have, like, clear them all and do that type of stuff. You got, like, the DS to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got... So I couldn't grab you a bag for all this stuff. No, I actually, I, didn't, I was going to apologize because I don't have one either. I, 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 I got a bag for all this stuff. And oh, okay, cool. All that type of stuff, but... All right, I'll just, just put these in here. Pop it in. There's the... I believe there's two remotes in here. There's the um, PS2, all the cables, and all that type of stuff. A bunch of games and... Okay. Cool, cool, cool. So it's all in there? Yes, sir. Yeah, there's PS2, and that's all up in all the games. And then, oh, oh okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and the PS2 games. Yeah. Cool beans, dude. All right. Wait, perfect deal. Thank I thought you. I was like, this guy gets it. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good one. My bad. Huh? Ooh. Box of goodies. Goodies, goodies, all the time. <laughs> I gave you all those controllers, you could just have them. There's like a charging dock here. There's like some miscellaneous games in here. Of course, no covers, you could just have that. Yeah, okay. And then I found this too, so you could just have that. Word. But all the shit that I told you that was in there is in there. All the docks, the Nintendo controllers, the Xbox controller, the PS4 controller. Everything on that side is what we sold, okay? Everything on this side is just to you. My dog. Got you. Thank you. Have I'll a good catch night. You. Yeah. Oh, what do we have here? Oh, this is cool. Wait a minute, what? Doubt it's worth anything. Yeah, look. Officially by Marvel. Hey, oh, oh, hi, wait, what? Okay. Oh, that's awesome. Avengers pancakes. That is so cool. I said pancakes, I meant waffles, but same thing. What is this thing? Oh, it's a car part. Doesn't have a price on it. It's for the Subaru. I know Fast Talk and Flipper sells a lot of car stuff. Oh, I feel like that's that's a missing part, ain't it? I don't know. I feel like this is though. I think this is missing. And what is this? Oh, it's a CD player. Uh huh. Is this is this missing something? I don't know what I'm looking at, bro. I don't know. There's not even like a model. There's nothing on this. Oh, what is eight millimeter max? Okay, I need more information than that though. But they don't have it to give. Oh, it's a cassette player. Oh, oh it, this oops. Look at this behemoth right here. Oh, I thought this was a bat. Oh, it is a Batmobile. It's just different. $9.49. And it's got the, uh, I don't know. Wait. Oh, it has two. How does it have? It has two remote thingies. I wonder why. But I refuse to let you go. I'm about to beg and plead for your sympathy. Oh, wow. This is actually way cheaper than i thought it would be this is such a cool device and it goes for nada what is this thing here what what why do you what is this for how do you attach this what is this the retaliator what how do you i want to know where this thing goes oh here this is elite this is this is a lot a lot of them say elite but this one isn't elite it's just regular i think the last end strike thing i had sold for 70 dollars I don't know. See, all these say elite. This doesn't say elite. 
Just says regular. Oh, here it goes. Oh, yeah. Nothing. Oh, it's a Squishmallow. This is my first time ever running into one, actually. What is this? Solin? What is that from? Hmm. Any goodies over here? Linksis, Linksis, Linksis. $20 for this? Holy moly, that's expensive. This thing looks good. Oh. What are you? Sylvania something. What is this? There's no price on it. Um. Uh, yeah, no. I open this. Open says it me. Open. Whatever. Anything over here? Anything standing out? Oh, some Sony headphones with some super scuzzy on them. That's gross. What's this thing? Wild Willies? Okay, cool. Oh, I got a little Wii uh, wheel here. Five bucks, though. Oh, see a PS2 controller creeping in the back. Six dollars. What's that? Some no-name headphones. Oh, what is this? A Radio Shack recorder. Interesting. What do you want? Six dollars. Who can afford these prices? A Nintendo Switch case. Would be nice if it was actually in here. That would have been a purchase. That's a phone? What kind is it? Just says Verizon. Little camera on it. There we go. Now you can see it more. Try and take a picture. See what this thing is. I love my Motorola. I love my Motorola. Maybe I'll do Metro. I mean retro. Vintage. Let's do vintage. Um. Oh, it kind of looks like... Wait, does it slide? Oh, it does slide. Oh, it's a droid. Oh, it's a droid. Yeah, it slides up. It's like an older droid. Kind of looks like... Yeah, either way, it's not worth it. This thing's five bucks. Yeah, it's not worth it. Okay, we are back at the dungeon in a wild assortment of things we have indeed. And to be fair, a lot of this I know is going to look unfamiliar. Like, wait, I mean, I didn't see no pickups in any of this stuff. And that's just because sometimes I would pop into a thrift store and not bring my camera and find some good stuff. Like this, for instance, this is a Toshiba VCR player. And the model is W-522. You can see I paid $10 for it. And look, it could go for like $40 to $50 plus shipping, sometimes with remote and sometimes without. And as you can see, there's 34 listed and 73 sold. Look, that one sold for $40 plus shipping that one's 40 dollars plus shipping no remote over 100 percent sell through rate for like 50 dollars plus shipping on a 10 dollar item i'll take it same goes for this pile whatever this like a double cassette play honestly i don't even know what it is i just know i paid 10 dollars for it and it sells for about the same amount unfortunately the sell through rate isn't as juicy but the profit margins are and then this bad boy this was a super risk for me and honestly, the most I've ever spent on a single item at a thrift store. I paid $35 for this. It's an Ankyo receiver and the model is tx sr393 and this is the reason why i took that risk look how much this thing is selling for 150 dollars this person's selling it for 240 i'm assuming because it comes with like a, the box or whatever 100 dollars plus 40 dollars shipping this thing is going for bread now the sell through rate there's 24 listed and 12 sold so it's a 50 percent sell through rate but look how much is this person sold it with the remote 120 shipped that's crazy because look at the other prices people are selling it for about 200 dollars like i just had to take that chance big boy big risk i don't know the the profit margins were just so juicy my eyes saw dollar signs i couldn't help it man and this last big boy is a facebook marketplace purchase that i made on a whim i was out at a 
savers and just decided, let me just scroll through Facebook Marketplace while I'm leaving. It's like some industrial video cassette player recorder thing. Like, look, I'm gonna push, I gotta open it. Look at this, look at this. It, this is, I got this for $20 and I think this goes for like, I wanna say $120 plus shipping. Yeah, here it goes. So it's about $100 plus shipping. It's the Panasonic AG-1950. Goes for around $100 plus shipping and I paid 20 bucks for it. Then down here, we got some more thrift store pickups. Now I know I said I'm never doing shoes again. I'm out of the shoe game completely, but I saw these and I had to pick them up. They were $14 and I can get about $100 plus shipping for these. Wild thing is these are my size. Can you believe it? Then I got this calculator. This is the Casio ClassWiz. This is the model number here, FX-83GTX. And I can get about like 15, $20 plus shipping for this. And this calculator was a bit of a risk. So the I forgot to mention on the other one, but the other one also has this X on the back and this X means it's a uh, $1.50 or, or $2, something like that. So I said $2 for a TI-84 plus, I mean, yes. But this, you y'all see the black mark here and I, it, it doesn't, I don't know if it works. Let me just pop in some batteries, see if this thing works. Wow, dude, so I didn't do this in the store, but I just popped the back off and look at this, it doesn't even even have the right back on it if if i do if this thing does work i'm definitely gonna sell it at a super discount i mean i only paid two dollars for it so i'll probably do something like i don't know like 15 20 plus shipping for this okay i'm not gonna lie to y'all it was actually a struggle to find these batteries and they're not even the same i like had to scour through the house looking for these so if these honestly if they don't work then i'm not gonna be i'm not gonna take it out on this i'm not gonna automatically say that this is bad i'm just gonna try and find some better batteries but moment of truth kind of turn it on hey let's go it works yeah look at that it's looking good dude I don't, I don't know how much did i sell this thing for i'm thinking probably like 25 dollars plus shipping you know what i'm saying like you can still see everything it's looking good it's working good now nah, i'm thinking 25 plus shipping this one i already tested at the store this one this one works just good then down here to my savers trip i only got two things during this trip and one of them is this flat iron it's a Babyless Pro that I paid $6 for, and I can get around $30 plus shipping for it. I took it out of the plastic so you can see a bit better, but this is the Titanium Extreme version. And this little thing here, I always just look up random electronics and stuff that I'm just not familiar with. I paid $3 for this. It's called the Grow Egg, and as you can see, it's going for like $15, $20 plus shipping. So $3 into 20 bucks, I'll take it. And now for them video games. Over here is a plug pickup. So I got all of these games. I got the PSP, these two docks, which I can get about $30 a pop for the docks. And throwing this random case, I don't know what's in here exactly. So I got to pop this bad boy open, but I paid $100 for all of this stuff that you see right here. Plus this box of like random miscellaneous controllers. You can see a PS4 controller back there. And there's nothing like super crazy in here except Manhunt. I got to, I'm hoping, let's, let's just check right now because I don't know if it's in there or if it's complete. In one of my recent videos where I picked up a bunch of stuff from my plug, the like big money games weren't in the case and that broke my heart. So I'm really crossing my fingers and please hoping, let's go, let's go, it's complete. That's, wait, Valiant video, wait, this is it, right? Went to, per, wait, no, 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 wait, 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 what is this? Okay, okay, yeah, 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 this is it, this is it, this is it. Okay, 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 yes, let's go. But another thing about this bundle that really stood out to me is that these are some bread and butter heaters. I tell y'all all the time to look out for like the street racing games because they sell for somewhat like, like $10 plus shipping, but they sell really fast. And there's a lot of need for speed games in here. We got Sonic. We have, wait, there's a mystery game. What is, I have no idea what this is. Oops, I didn't mean to zoom in. <laughs> okay, what are the odds of the mystery game being uh, Manhunt 2? Nah, Gears of War 3. Huh? And then it also came with this PSP, which I'm just now noticing is missing the knob. That sucks. Is there a game inside of here? How you pop this bad boy? Pop. Oh, wait. How do you open? Is it stuck? Okay, I got it open and there was nothing inside. But it is missing the knob and the back battery cover. So let me, I do have a spare battery. Let me pop it in and see if this works. All right, the battery is in like barely. It doesn't like really fit, but it, it's in. And oh, the light's on. Wait. Let's go! 
hopefully this thing reads games but hey i might sell this like super cheap uh, unless i can find the knob i do have a um which i'm gonna check xyab for and if y'all aren't have not used xyab yet let me tell you it is fire i'm not like officially sponsored or anything i do have an affiliate link in my description below where you can get 50 dollars off your first order of 100 dollars, i think or maybe it's 100 dollars off i don't know you get some money off and that's always a good thing but they have like everything you need when it comes to like accessories and stuff. Look, this is this is all this is a, a shipment that I got in. I got a power adapter for the 360, another power adapter for some other console. I got like wires and stuff. Dude, they have everything. Back pieces to Nintendo Wii controllers, back pieces to the PSP. Pro Battery just popped out. <laughs> But the back piece to this probably, they have like all those random, they got back piece, the Game Boy Advance, like all those like random parts that you need that are super hard to find. XYAB has it. I absolutely love and adore that site. Like I said, there's a link in my description. Check it out. At, to the very least, check out the website. It is sick. And lastly, I got this little, I don't, I honestly have no idea what's in here. It's probably nothing. It's probably a bunch of bunk. It could be some heat. I don't know. But I do know I can't open this with one hand. All right, let's see what we got. Um, This is really difficult. Okay, we got black. That's a cool game. I can't, it's like fighting with me. All right, here we go. So we got black for the Xbox. We got Lion is this the D? What is this? DVD or something? Yeah, approximate one time, 77 minutes. Yeah, it's the Lion King one half uh, DVD movie thing. Uh, what's this? We got Halo for the Xbox. That's written on. Anything else? Uh, oh, Need for Speed Carbon. Nice. Let's go. What else we got? Oh, can't turn the page. Here we go. What is this? Jericho for the Xbox 360. I'm not familiar with that game. And I think there's one more. Grand Theft Auto Vice City for OG Xbox. Hey, not bad. So for this little mini bundle right here, I paid $100 to my plug. Let me know what y'all think. And then lastly, we got this little bundle of joy right here. I was scrolling through Facebook Marketplace one day and I saw somebody was selling some kind of beat maker, the Dr. Junior 500. I don't know what it is. I, they was like, I'm selling it this low so that people can either resell it or just enjoy it at a good price. So I was like, what does that mean? And I looked it up and it was selling for around like 200 bucks. So I posted it up on Facebook for trade for video games and this is what we got a PS2 slim with two controllers look at that shadow controller looking beautiful a little bit of scuzzy on it though we got a stack of ps3 games nothing crazy in it I, journey might be but i don't know we, we do have call of duty games which always does very well for me we got a stack of ps2 games which are all really good bread and butters and we got this stack of 3DS games. When he showed me these games, I was, my eyes lit up. I asked him if he had the cases for them because the value would have went up exponentially. Unfortunately, he did not. But wait, actually, I think I might have the case for this. Da, 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 da. Yes, I do right here. Okay, this is wild. So I went to go look up how much uh, the price went up for, for having it with the case. So complete right here, $15. And then, wait, where's, look, just the game, 15 why would you pay, why is it the same price for just the game as is, look, $15, the, well, I say 15 because it's 9 plus shipping, and then that one's also 9 plus shipping, or 10 plus shipping, whatever, but like, why would you pay the same price, that's from Japan, you don't want that, the $16 down here, 15 I don't understand. Well, anyways, it's better to have it complete than to not when you go to sell this thing, right? So boom, yeah, we got Fire Emblem Awakening, Zelda, what is this? Zelda, A Link Between Worlds, Pokemon X, Fossil Fighters Frontier, Pokemon Alpha Sapphire, Animal, wait, do I have, I might have the, the case for this. Da, 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 da. Yes, I do, right here. And now this just went from a $15, $20 game to like a solid $30 game. Always hold on to your empty cases. But we got Pokemon Omega Ruby, Zelda. They always got this small, super small text. Majora's Mask 3D and Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. Now again, I essentially paid $100 for all of this because that's what I paid for the beat maker and I traded the beat maker for this bundle. So what do y'all think? How did I do on this trade right here? Altogether, I paid $295 for everything that you see on this table. And if I can get these two machines to sell, then that's all my money back plus a little bit of profit. So I'm curious to know how y'all think I did. Nothing too crazy. It wasn't a really big hefty video game haul. 
haul and it wasn't like a super crazy hefty electronics thrift store run but i feel like i got some really solid stuff i really want to know your thoughts in the comments below and y'all already know i'll catch y'all on the next one okay y'all look i got my hair tied up looking crazy i'm i'm working right now i'm listening and stuff and bro i did not i said earlier that there was nothing too crazy in this little stack of games except like you know the racing games always do well but what i didn't know was that this game sells for like 80 dollars if it's complete be complete it is <laughs> let's go this game so dude need for speed most wanted this is a major bolo and dude look at this there's actually another cop and this is like the black what is this called the black edition and it's complete it's got every it's got the manual it's got both this for the og xbox so it has two discs and it don't sell for the same amount but it still sells for some pretty good bread about 30 dollars dumb street racing sports games bro look out for them let's go